Hey, what's up? It's Steve here. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, the other night, I did an edition of Fender Friday. Every Friday, I do videos about Fender gear and guitars and amps and tones and anything else. And the other night's edition was about how to use the Mustang GTX amplifier as a great acoustic option. Most people think of the GTX 50 or the GTX 100 um, just for electric guitar, but it's got a really sweet um, built-in uh, model called the Acoustasonic, and you can tweak it and really make it sound great. Um, I use a Taylor GS Mini and, you know, some looper pedal kind of stuff. Um, but whether or not you are, um, whatever kind of gear you got, uh, you can do two things. You can either plug your guitar into the amplifier and get the sound right out of the speaker, or you can run the headphone output jack or the line outs in the back of the amp into uh, powered monitors or, um, you know, a PA system or whatever. Now I got a question about the, on uh, the video the other day that said, if you had to get one acoustic guitar amplifier and you weren't going to use if, if I was not going to use, um, some external speakers or whatever, I really wanted to hear the sound right out of the amplifier. What would I, what would I get? Would I get that or a true acoustic guitar amplifier? And I think the answer is it depends. It depends on you know, for each person, if they are gigging out and they need also a microphone input and to be able to, you know, manage the volume levels of both the microphone and the guitar. Um, if you are, um, you know, using backing tracks through your amplifier like that, in those cases, I would go with like the Fender Acoustic Go or the Fishman Loudbox Mini or something like that that gives you the option of, um, you know, again, managing multiple inputs and having a true full range speaker. But if you are playing at home or maybe just, you know, entertaining people, I think if, if you play electric guitar, even if you play bass, um, man, the Mustang is a great, great option because you can dial in a great sound. So what I'm going to do real quickly is show you, uh, this is the top of my Mustang. So here I have a tone called acoustic hall. I'll switch over to that view right there. Um, acoustic hall. If you search on the Fender, uh, app or website and you can download it for free. I built this tone here and it's got a large hall reverb and you know compressor really light chorus and all that stuff but it does not come with all these settings right here. It's really um, designed primarily to be used with the headphone output uh, jack on the top of the amplifier but these are the settings right here. Uh, you can see um, if you want to make it sound in my opinion really strong or better right out of the amplifier then use these settings you know it's a much lower gain i crank the volume i crank the treble because the amplifier itself isn't normally a um a real uh, high crisp amplifier for acoustics um, and then i lowered the bass uh quite a bit and lowered the mids um, ignore that reverb and the master is totally up to you then um, if you look down at the bottom i made the large hall um, this is totally subjective, but I just cranked up the level even more and the decay um, even more right there. So um, I say that because if you go right now uh, or later to the Fender, uh, your app or whatever, and you download Acoustic Hall, my tone, if you run, again, headphone output into earbuds or headphones or whatever or into powered monitors, I think it sounds really awesome that way, depending on you know the quality of your acoustic guitar. But if you're not going to use that, I would say um, those settings I just showed you on the screen, you can rewind. If you if you sort of dial that in, that's one option. Everybody should, you know, dial it into your own taste and your own personal preference. But for me, it sounds really great. I mean, for an electric guitar amp that doesn't have a full range uh, flat response speaker, um, it sounds awesome. I mean, it's it may not be the quality or the exact crispness or clarity of, of some of those Fishman amps or, you know, other acoustic ones, but... Um, to have all the options and freedom to play electric guitar and bass and everything and then switch over to an acoustic, it's really nice. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And, you know, don't forget to like and subscribe. And maybe click the YouTube thanks button if you'd like to support the channel. So hope you're doing great. Have an awesome one. Later.